This video is all over the place. You don't want to miss this. This is a huge splinter in the foot and we're starting out with some tweezers to get it out. And I promise the best is yet to come. So they can't get a hold of it. These type of tweezers are just a little bit more blunt on the tip. And unless that's sticking out of their ways, it's really difficult to get a hold of it. So they're going to need to open up the top of it. They're going to need to find some other tool in order to get this thing out of there. So now they've got a little bit more exposed, but it's just not quite coming out. Nope. Come on, we got to move on to something else. It gets better. Okay. And she's just chilling there. She's just waiting for somebody to get the splinter out of there. <laughs> now we're going in with scissors. These do have a more fine tip on them, so maybe they can get a hold of it. But of course, the risk is that you're going to just snip the edge of the splinter off. So now we're using teeth. Somebody's legitimately using their teeth to try to get this splinter out. I cannot recommend this. Do not use your teeth on somebody's foot to get a splinter out. Okay, now they're using alcohol. They're sterilizing or disinfecting this box cutter and they're opening up the skin. She's not feeling anything and opening up that skin on top, removing that dead skin is going to allow you to get a better grip on that splinter. Now let's see if they're able to get it out, that they've opened it up. We can see it a little better now. Pushing on it, trying to force it out of the skin. Now we see it even better and we're going back with the tweezers. Let's see what they can get out. They're underneath it. It's coming out. Yes, finally. That is a huge splinter, definitely painful, but she's gonna feel a lot better now. I don't see any blood, so she's gonna recover quickly.